Another big court defeat for President Trump. For the second time this week, a federal judge has ruled Congress has the right to see the president's financial records. Monday's case involved his accounting firm. Today's case, Trump family and business records held by Deutsche Bank and Capital One Financial. Now, in today's opinion, the judge said the subpoenas are clearly pertinent to Congress's work. The judge also rejected the idea that the committees don't have a legitimate legislative purpose for the documents. It's the same legal basis that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin has used to block release of the president's tax returns. In fact, Mnuchin was on the Hill this morning defending those actions before the Financial Services Committee, one of the two House committees that won in court today. Now, a short time ago, I spoke about the developments with the chairwoman of that committee, Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Chairwoman Waters, about today's court ruling, as well as the other, the other one earlier this week in your committee's favor, does it bolster Speaker Pelosi's argument that it's better to let all this play out in court rather than start impeachment proceedings? Because I know you've been a vocal proponent of impeachment. Well, yes, you know, I'm an advocate for impeachment. I've been for a long time, uh, and I'm still uh, very strongly uh, in support of uh, of impeachment. However, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing my oversight and investigations committee on the Financial Services Committee. As the chair, I'm going to carry out my responsibility and I'm going to keep working. And in keeping working, I am requesting documents. Uh, we are, you know, ushering um, uh, subpoenas, and you know we had a court decision today up in the Southern District of New York uh, where Trump had filed a lawsuit against Deutsche Bank uh, to prevent them from giving us any documents, and the court uh, and Judge Ramos ruled on that today. Uh, it ruled in our favor for a preliminary injunction. So why, why move toward, uh, toward impeachment proceedings if you are already starting to get court rulings in your favor and you may be getting these financial documents, uh, doesn't that allow you to do what you need to do without, at this stage, moving toward impeachment? Well, don't you understand, uh, there are several things going on here. Uh, number one, I support impeachment, but I'm also the chair of a very important committee, the Financial Services Committee, and I'm going to do my work uh, in investigations and oversight. And I cannot make the final determination about whether my caucus uh, and my uh, 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 members are going to so, uh, uh, support uh, impeachment. That discussion continues to go on. And so it's not either or at this point. It is, you know, you do what you need to do and for me, that includes continuing to talk about impeachment and helping to create that discussion and hoping more people will come around uh, at the same time, as I said, uh, doing my uh, investigation and oversight. And these records from Deutsche Bank and, and Capital One, what questions do you believe they may help your committee answer? Do, do, what do you hope to glean from them? Well, I hope to get uh, some ba basic information about the financial uh, workings of Trump's uh, operation. We want to know about personal and about company finances. We want to know who he owes money to. We, we want to know uh, whether or not uh, he had the kind of uh, assets that he claimed that he had in order to get money. We really want to find out from Deutsche Bank why Deutsche Bank is the only uh, major financial institution that will lend him money, despite the, despite the fact, rather, uh, he had sued them at one point and um, nobody else, no other banks trusted him because of the way he conducts business. He's a filed bankruptcy on and on and on. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin is still refusing to turn over the president's tax returns. Does your committee intend on holding him in contempt if he doesn't produce them? And if so, when would you think you might take that vote? Well, as you know, um, there's a lot of confusion around that. We believe that the Constitution gives us the right to have those tax returns. They have been requested by Ways and Means, uh, which is the legitimate com committee of Congress to request those uh, tax returns. And the law basically says he shall turn them over if they are requested uh, in the right uh, way. So he's refusing to do that. Um, but because he's refusing to do that, uh, we are trying to figure out how to get them. And so the Ways and Means Committee 
uh, will supposedly uh, subpoena uh, those documents. Um, I don't know what's happening. Uh, we have another committee uh, that's going after uh, the accounting that is being done by his accounting firms. So a lot of things are going on to try and get information that we think is important and absolutely essential to understand uh, much of the suspicion uh, that is being discussed about this president and about his financial uh, doings. Uh, he refuses to turn over the tax returns. What does he have to hide? Yeah. Has he been compromised in any way? Is there money laundering going on? There is enough that we know about him uh, to have legitimate suspicion, and we need to have uh, documentation. Mm. Chairwoman uh, Waters, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're so welcome.